It is. It's nice. And you guys are very sort of dedicated and driven, which is good. Like I said, it'll be yeah. nice. Summer is always nice to have a nice relaxing time. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I'm just going to, as you can see, these are the two doc. I don't know if you'll be able to download it, but this is. I only your- have the success criteria. The other one I can't download for some reason. Well, that's weird. Okay. Um, hmm. All right. So I'll, I'll, we'll look at it. We'll see, we'll see if we can sort that out later. Okay. So here is let's put here. you're going to do a character sketch of Blanche Dubois. Your character sketch must include uh, the following, which is a physical description. What does she look like? Personality mm-hmm. traits. How does she act? Um, how does Stella and Stella see Blanche? And how does the reader react to Blanche's action? You can use evidence from the plate to support your character sketch. Three quotes minimum, which means you need to have a quote that tells me what she looks like, how she acts. Um, how the other characters see her. Uh, Blanche, and how does the audience, which means you or I or anyone who reads the book, sees her, doesn't even really need a quote there. You can if you want to, but you don't really need to have one. Okay, so just one quote for each statement. Yes. Okay. All right, so, uh, not of content, I know how to describe Blanche by examining her physical appearance, her personality traits, how other characters see her, and how the reader, audience, sees her. Okay. Uh, I know that I need to con- use Stella and Stanley's appearance of Blanche in the character sketch. As part of the conversation, it simply means that when we're going over your outlines and rough drafts, we'll have conversations and I'll, and I'll mark that. I'll say, hey, so what do Blanche and Stella think of, or what Stella and Stella think of Blanche? And you'll say, well, you know, they think this, they think that, and I'll give you a mark based on that. Okay. Um, I know that you need to use a minimum of three quotes, well, different quotes for my character sketch. Well, but means that the quote should reveal what you're saying. If you say, Blanche has horns on her head, the quote should say, Blanche walks into the apartment and hits her head uh, with her horns on the head and rubs her head because it hits the top of the door, right? It mm. just means that the quotes need to show me what you're talking about. Um, I know that I have to write this character set using a format discussed in the class, which is four paragraphs, which is a modified introduction, and inclusion paragraphs, evidence from only scenes one to four. So you're focusing on scenes one to four. That's where you get your evidence in for this character sketch. Because it's really about us examining how Blanche is not well liked in the first four scenes. Yeah. Uh, I know that um, the eyes reaction to Blanche must be based on the evidence that I provided in this character sketch, which simply means, you know, I know that I can't just make things up about Blanche. I have to, resp- I have to base my evidence based on things that have happened in this play, in these scenes. Uh, this uh, communication is just, I know I must create the characters using proper spelling, grammar, sentence, paragraph structure. All quotes must use proper MLA format. And if you don't remember that, I can review that with you a little later. Um, and I know that my character sketch must use clear, easy to understand language. And the last part is the writing draft, writing process. So you know that um, what it is is that you give me an outline, I mark the outline, and I just say, make your changes and apply your changes into the rough draft. So you don't have to ever repeat a stage once you've done it. I mean, unless you did it completely wrong, which I don't think you will. And then I'd say, whoa, we, we start again. But if it's just some, hey, move this here, change this here, you make those changes in your rough draft. And then when I look mm-hmm. at the rough draft, I go, hey, make these changes here. You make those changes in your final draft. Okay? I see, I see. All right. So we've talked about that. Let's look at the success that I call up. It's the middle one. I think, yeah, but I don't know if I actually turned, I don't think I opened it. Oh. Because now it's saying it's opened. And now it's opened. Oh. Okay. So that's a question. We're going to go through that again. Let me move this up here. Let's minimize this so I can see it. I'm going to zoom in here. So the goal is to describe Blad. She wants to examine her personality physical appearance, her parents' behavior to others, and how the audience views her. Must be information from film to support your opinions. It should be from play. If I change here. So you want to read. You want to read the play up to and including scenes one to four. So this is only doing that stuff. So you don't mention stuff in scenes five and onward. Only you're basing your information solely on scenes one to four. Okay. Okay. So step two is gathering evidence. You want to review scenes for um, for the following information. Physical appearance, what does she look like? So it's how others describe her, right? Will tell Mm -hmm. us what she looks like. 
Uh, personalized traits, how does she act? You need at least two personalized traits. Use information from the scenes one to four to prove her personalized traits, which means that in that paragraph, you want to identify two ways she behaves. And you need a quote for each to show that type of behavior. So if you say she's arrogant, find me a quote that shows me she's arrogant. If you say that she's also insecure, find me a quote that shows me that she's insecure. So you need two tra personalized traits and a quote for each. Uh, and a perception of others, how does Stella and Stanley C. Blanche use information from the, from the movie, from the... from play to prove their perceptions. Again, um, you can, again, quotes are he, evidence here to prove it because again, a lot of the stuff is we're gonna say this happens. Yeah, I'll have to say, okay, I believe you. How do you know that? So make sure you have those um, quotes there. Okay, when we go to the actual breakdown of the assignment or the, uh, the structure, we're looking at the following. Your first paragraph is introduction and physical appearance. So you you know you talk you, you just this is a character sketch for Blanche Dubois, and you talk about what does she look like. Then you have a quote from the play. Explain how your quote supports the statement. Then you move on to your personality traits. There are two. So in this paragraph, you have two different personality traits. You would say the first, you know, Blanche is blah 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 blah. Right? You use that stating the trait. Then you quote from the play that shows that trait. You explain how the quote from the play is an example of the trait you just identified. Then you say. Blanche is also blah, 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 blah. And then you have the quote and you state why that quote supports that. There are paragraphs, how do uh, character see Blanche statement? How does the character, how does Stella see Blanche? Quote from the play, explain why the evidence supports it. Then also a statement, how does Blanche see Blanche? A quote from the play, how does the evidence supports it? Then paragraph four, we state what you proved, right? Um, and also talk about how that aspect is what are we supposed to take away from Blanche by looking at the evidence that you stated above. Okay. So our standpoint. Yeah. So standpoint. yeah. So and anyone who reads this is supposed to like again when Williams wrote this, he wrote it in like I'm going to have a three act arc for Blanche. You don't like her, you understand her, you root for her. Right. Mm. So this is the first arc of the thing. I don't like her. Right. Because, well, yeah, she does stick up for her sister. She also drinks the alcohol, calls her fat, you know, insults Stanley in his own home, uh, has an air of attitude towards her. Even when Mitch says something to her, she kind of in insults Mitch a bit. Right. Yeah. Um, and at the end, her, her plan is let's just go get a man to take care of us. Right. Like she's mm -hmm. not like second was like, oh, you're hopeless. You're not supposed to like her, right? So this is his thing because he wants to redeem her or she, he wants to say, she's got these really negative traits, but in scenes five and six, that's here's the reasons why she acts this way, right? And in scenes seven onward, oh, I get you now. You're not the bad guy. That guy's the bad guy. Or I understand when you do these selfish things, you're just in pain or you have things going on that you can't really understand. So you're acting out, right? It's a rationale that we start to side with her when we understand her rationale. Yeah. Which is why we don't really like her in the first four, four scenes because there's no explanation for why she behaves this way. Okay, are there any questions for me about this specific character sketch? Um, how do you, what kind of format do you want the quotes for the quotes? Like MLA format, so it's like you would put, um, you'd have the quote, if it's more than, a, if it's one sentence long, it's in the paragraph, it's more sentence long, it's separated from the paragraph, um, no quotation marks, and at the end, you put the author's last name and the page number you found the, the, the quote from. Okay, so it's the quote and then the name of who said it and what scene. Right, uh, let me okay. see if I can before... Let me go back here because you can see everything. And maybe what I can do is, uh, where is it? This? And when is like the final, like rough, the final copy due? On the eighth. So we'll be not like so. We'll be doing focusing on this for the next two days, right? Now, if mm -hmm. you for some reason say I need more time, fine, just be aware that I'm going to say, okay, we're moving on to something else. 
right? Mm -hmm. So, but we have all of today, all of tomorrow, and then these be in. So here's an example. I'll show you what the quotes would look like in the actual paragraph. Here's an example of a single sentence quote, right? I put quotation mark. You don't bold it. I'm just doing it so you can see it. And I'll just highlight it there so you can look at it as we're talking. So mm -hmm. you just have the sentence there. You put quotation marks that tells me, hey, well, this, these aren't my words, right? And then at the end, you put the author's last name. His name, the author's name is Nick Hornby. So I put Hornby and the page I found the quote on, right? If your quote is more than a sentence long, I would, instead of doing one and a half spaces here, I single spaced it. Uh, because I also indented it to show that I'm, this is, these words aren't my words. And because yeah. I've done this, I don't need to put quotation marks around it. I don't need to tell you, these words are my words. I'm showing you, these words are my words. But the same rule applies here. Author's last name, page number. So we don't put the person who says the quote, we put the author? Author's last, yeah, author's last name, page number. Because um, you don't need to, right? The quote, and again, because this is a play, you might put down Stanley dot dot and what Stanley says, right? Thing dot dot what this person says. You could do that because that's the quote from a play. Mm -hmm. um, also remember that when we were moving to the rough draft, you don't say in the quote below or in the quote above. You just make your statement, have your quote that explain why your quote supports your statement without introducing it, right? You don't say, I'm gonna chew food. I'm chewing food now. Now I'm swallowing, right? You just do it, right? That looks like, oh, you're eating. Yeah, yeah, right? You don't say, hey, well, I'm going to eat this sandwich right now. Now I will use my teeth to grind the food and into my stomach or stomach acids will dissolve the food and in the way that can produce energy so I don't fall asleep. I see. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Any other questions? No. Okay. So uh, I will let you, I'm going to stop the share. And I'm going to stop the recording. So.